Today is quad day. I trained hamstrings and quads two days ago in Montana when I was there um, shooting for flag nor fail. Um, my recovery is pretty decent right now. I think the first week's getting back from Puerto Rico was pretty rough to be honest, but it's kind of coming back to me now. So we're gonna hit these leg extensions first, um, make sure to get the blood flowing in the quads before we move on to another compound movement instead. My front and my side shot is a lot stronger than my back shot. And so the split I've set up for myself is a little bit special. So two times a week, I have a posterior chain workout, which is hamstring, glutes, and back. And then one time a week, I also have just a solely like a back workout. And so the rest of the workouts are quads and then delts. Usually I'll feel by the start of my workout how strong I am for the day um, because I'm kind of in this health phase right now. I'm a little bit weaker than usual, but it's mostly in your head, I think. So just a mental barrier you kind of have to get over. Um, so we're gonna start with three today. I think the most I usually go up uh, to in prep is like 10 plates per side. So leg press is definitely one of my uh, strongest movements, I'd say. Okay, I gotta bring out the good playlist for this one. When I'm in prep, I'm definitely pretty like strong in my shoulders. I think I'm, I don't know, I'm pretty known for my shoulder presses in prep. I have some pretty crazy videos out there pressing like 90s and stuff. And uh, in my off season, I'm not as strong in my presses, but my legs is like the one body part that really doesn't lose that much strength. I think they have like what, eight, plate, eight plates per side right now. So it's not really that big of a difference. I feel like when you do them this way, it kind of just, it's a straight pathway down. So you can make sure you stand right under the, um, the actual bar um, and get more out of your quads, drive through the knees, or you can set it up for hamstrings and kind of lay, lean back on it. Um, today we're starting more right under for quads, so. Oh, four, okay, it's not, it's not bad for being in my post-show face. I'm happy with that. Go, so I've been bodybuilding for such a long time. At this point, like I pick up pieces, little, you know, every here and there. And then um, these lunges are an exercise that just kind of stuck with me. You don't have to go super heavy on them. Um, I focus on execution the most. But so they're stationary lunges. 
and derivation I like a lot um, just because you stay in one place and you don't have to do the walking long distance. So the variation is, instead of walking, I, for quads, I stand pretty narrow yeah. and I drive through the knee and then back. Um, when I do them for hamstrings, usually I'll go in a wider stance and I'll try to drive back into it. Now we're driving into it. So I drive into the ground, trying to push the knee in front of the toe. I know a lot of people like to say that that's you know, the risk of injury, injury, but that's literally what the joint is meant for. So. <sighs> yep, they're definitely there. Those feel good though. My glutes used to be my biggest muscle group because I have really responsive glutes. And then my feedback last year was that my glutes were too big. So they wanted them smaller. So I ended up not training glutes at all. And this year they're telling me that I can round them out a little bit more. So, you know, bodybuilding um, is all about adjustment, all about, you know, sculpting your body for your division. And for me right now, I need to get a little bit of glute back again, which shouldn't be too hard for me, but I try to get a couple glute exercises in, um, even on my quad days. And that's crazy because I did one set and now I'm, my glutes are just as pumped as my quads. Insane. I will say this, there is nothing that hurts more than a glue pump. I, I really, that's, that's the one thing that hurts the most for me, always. So that was my quad workout for today. Um, I'm kind of in a deload session right now, so I'm not really doing as much volume as I normally would deeper down the prep. I'm trying to get more frequency in and just do it more often. So you just gotta take the boxes go from day to day, just do the best that you can and uh, have fun with it. I hope to see you guys at the Olympia later this year. Be there or be square.